So now we're going to practice um, calculating speed on a position versus time graph. Recalling that speed is the distance traveled in a certain amount of time, and we calculate that by dividing distance and time. So I would like you to take a moment to calculate the speed for line segment A. So you'll see here in letter A that I have created my formula down below. So in line segment A, they traveled 30 meters. So they started at zero and ended at 30. So they traveled a total of 30 meters, that's the distance. And it took one, two seconds to travel that distance. I divided 30 meters per 30 meters divided by two seconds and got 15 meters per second. So now go ahead and calculate B, C, and D. Okay, so now we have line segment B, where it starts at 30 meters and ends at 50 meters, which gives us 20 meters traveled. And the time started at two seconds, ended at three seconds, which was one second traveled. So 20 divided by one is 20 meters per second. Then letter C, we already know that the answer is zero, but he traveled 50 meters, started to 50 meters. So he didn't go anywhere, zero meters. And in that amount of time, from three seconds to five seconds, which is two seconds. And then lastly, letter D, started at 50, ended at 80, which gives us 30 meters. And our time starts at five, ends at nine, which gives us four seconds. And 30 divided by four is 7.5 meters per second. So hopefully this helped you remember and practice how to calculate speed on a position versus time graph.